The FPV Racing Drone, piloted using a virtual reality headset, offers a more affordable option compared to typical commercial drones like the Mavic, but lacks advanced image stabilization electronics and crystal clear cameras, making it unsuitable for hovering over a target and providing steady video for spotting artillery or tracking enemy troop movements. Ukrainian armed forces buyers have recently acquired nearly the entire FPV drone components market in China, estimated to be between 50,000 to 100,000 units. They have already trained over a thousand operators to turn these drones into kamikaze weapons using a shaped charge warhead from RPG-7 or a fragmentation grenade. And all of this preparation has taken place ahead of an anticipated offensive. Setting aside other factors, just imagine the impact of deploying 50 to 100,000 kamikaze drones on Russia's vast and expanding network of defensive entrenchments in the occupied territory. Despite their winter offensive failing to gain significant ground, it appears Russia is willing to endure and hold these trenches. While back home, Putin has declared a recruitment drive to enlist 400,000 new contract soldiers. Anticipating a lack of volunteers, another stealth mobilization may be necessary, as the last thing Ukraine can afford is to provide Russia with additional time to reinforce their positions. Drone swarms could undoubtedly prove invaluable in hastening Ukraine's inevitable victory, with just a few precise drone strikes on infantry, manning the trenches rendering those segments inoperable. The strategic deployment of thousands of these strikes would be a game-changer enabling an armored spearhead charge to pierce through the Russian lines and advance deep into their rear areas. The incredible speed and power of these drones significantly contribute to their military worth, enabling both Ukraine and Russia to incorporate heavier warheads compared to standard commercial drones equipped with small grenades. Although they may not hit targets at 120 miles per hour, their rocket-propelled grenade or RPG warheads compensate with impressive speed and maneuverability. Some models can even achieve speeds of up to 120 miles per hour, showcasing their remarkable agility. Throughout the week, Ukraine has managed to destroy three Russian electronic warfare vehicles a significant shift from their previous inability to destroy any. Surprisingly, the drones continue to fly around these vehicles without being affected or damaged, seemingly out of range of the system. While it could be a coincidence, it appears that the cat and mouse game of measures, countermeasures, and counter-countermeasures has tipped in favor of Ukraine. Even if Russia's countermeasures were effective, they lack sufficient anti-drone devices to cover the entire front. The astonishing video captures a gripping scene, where a small group of around eight Ukrainian defenders faces a daunting assault from a couple of dozen Russian infantrymen targeting their trench. This intense combat footage is, by far, the most compelling I've come across. As the situation becomes increasingly desperate, the Ukrainian defenders are left with no choice but to call for artillery support on their own position to repel the relentless assault. In the second part, the Russians ultimately succeed in clearing the trench, but not before a Ukrainian tank and armored infantry fighting vehicle arrive to swiftly eliminate the remaining Russian forces. In a remarkable display of precision, Ukrainian forces utilize a deadly drone strike to obliterate a Russian 2S4, a 240mm self-propelled heavy mortar, as seen in the astonishing drone footage shared by the Ukrainian military. The first-person view kamikaze drone navigates with incredible accuracy, directly targeting and successfully neutralizing the Russian heavy mortar near Verno Kamyanka in the Luhansk region. 
The 2S4 Tulip, a product of the Cold War era, stands as a formidable 240mm self-propelled mortar intended for city destruction, and it remains the world's largest weapon of its kind currently in service. Outperforming Western counterparts, the self-propelled 2S4 mortars boast a caliber that allows them to launch a range of devastating warheads, including high-explosive, incendiary, guided cluster, neutron, and even nuclear warheads, some of which can reach targets at distances of approximately 20 kilometers. The weapon's main ammunition is the 53 F-864 mortar projectile, a high-explosive round weighing 130 kilograms. Utilizing the GM Bowie's E7 fuse, the weapon can be set to have a delayed action or detonate upon contact. Employing a five-part propelling charge system, the muzzle velocity of the weapon ranges from 158 to 362 meters per second, allowing for a maximum range of up to 9,650 meters. Initially, the 2S4 was capable of firing ZBV-4 shells equipped with nuclear warheads, 